is doing. Hope everyone is doing great. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're a new subscriber, you're also welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a gypsy gown. So these are the fabrics I'll be using. I'll be using this yellow one at the upper part of the dress. And this polka dot and the black, I'll be using these two at the lower part of the dress. So the first thing we're going to be doing is to cut the upper part of the dress. So I'm going ahead to cut out the upper part of the gown. And this is the back part. There's no zipper. It won't be having any zipper. And there's no dart because this fabric is a, is a bit stretchy. Can you see? So there is no uh, dart. There is no zipper allowance at the back of the upper part. Then this is the front. You can see the front has opening because it's going to have a, a button at the front. So what I did is to extend by this extend the center front by 2.5 for the button placket. Okay. There is no uh, dart here. There is no dart allowance because the fabric is a bit stretchy, okay? So that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go and fold the center front for the button plaquettes, and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done sewing the plaquette, as you can see. Can you see? And I held the both plaquettes at uh, the half length. Can you see? Then, I've closed the shoulder, that is a join the shoulder of the back and the front. And you see. Now I forgot to mention the the half length I'm using for the upper part. The half length I'm using is my under bust. My under bust is 15 and a half. But because I don't want my half length to be directly under my bust, I increased to 16. So the half length for this upper part is 16. My under bust is 15 and a half. I don't want the gathers to or the half length to stop directly under my bust. So I increase to 16. Hope you get that. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to measure the neckline so we can cut out the bishop collar. So I'm going to fold my neckline this way. Can you see? Fold into, into two. Then take the measurements. So, the round neckline on fold is nine and a half inches. Okay, so when you open up, we'll have a 19 inches. So, we'll go ahead and cut out the bishop collar. Okay, I folded my fabric into two. Now, remember that the, the round neckline on fold is nine and a half, okay? So, I measured nine and a half plus half inch to close this side. Will give me 10 inches okay so the next thing i did was to mark the midpoint of nine and a half the midpoint of nine and a half is four three quarter which is here so that's the midpoint then the width of the collar is going to be two inches we need half inch to join the collar to the dress then we need half to a uh, one quarter to close the top of the collar so what will be left will be one one quarter for the collar hope you're not confused so at the top part I'm going to measure the midpoint of nine, nine and a half, which is four, three quarter. I hope I'm not too fast. So this is four, three quarter. So from this end, I'm going to go up by half inch. And I will mark, this is half inch. I'm going to connect this point to the midpoint. Remember that our fabric is on fold. Can you see? I'm using Byron so that you can see it well. So what I'm going to cut, when I'm going to cut, I'll cut on that Byron and cut it off. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do from this point, I'm going to go up by two inches. That's the width of the collar. So this is two inches. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do at this point, I will connect to the midpoint again this way. You see what I'm doing? Then I will connect to this point here. Can 
means our collar is not going to have any sharp edges so i'm going to trim it out this sharp edge so it won't be it won't look like this so the next thing we're going to do at this point we're going to curve it this way and you see i'm going to curve it this way and you see so i'll go ahead and cut out the color So this is our color. I'm going to cut two of this. Then I'll go and join the upper part and come back to show you what to do next. So I'm done fixing the collar as you can see. And also cut my sleeve and fix the sleeve. Can you see? And close the two sides, leaving small space open. Can you see? So the next thing we'll be doing is to cut the lower part of this dress. Now the full length of this dress is going to be 40 inches. And remember that the half length, that is the upper part, is 16 inches. So we are going to be minusing 16 from 40 and when we do that we should have a 24 inches so the lower part of this dress is going to be 24 inches long okay so the lower part also has layers it has a three layers it's going to have three layers okay so we're going to be dividing three by 24 and when we do that we should have eight inches so we're going to be adding one inch to each of this layer because we, we need to join each of the layers together, okay? Now, the last layer, that is the third layer, we are going to be doing nine and a half. The first is going to be nine inches, the second is going to be nine inches, then the last one is going to be nine and a half because we are going to hem. I hope I'm making sense. When you divide three by 24, you should have eight inches. When you add one to each for seam allowance, you should have nine inches. So the first layer is going to be nine inches, Second layer is going to be nine inches, then the last layer is going to be nine and a half because we are going to hem it. Okay, so that is the length. The length of each layer is going to the first and second is going to be nine inches, then the last layer, the length is going to be nine and a half. Okay, so coming to the round measurements, that is a, the length, the width of these layers. What we are going to do is to take the round measurement of this half length the round measurement is a 34 inches sorry it's 32 inches when you add a four inches seam allowance it will give us 36 inches now for for us to get the width of the first layer we're going to be multiplying 36 by 1.5 we're going to multiply 36 by 1.5 that's the formula uh, you're going to use while making a gypsy dress gown or skirt okay so when you multiply 36 by 1.5, you should have 54 inches. That means that the first layer is going to be 54 inches long. That is the width is going to be 54 inches long. Now for the second layer, you're going to multiply the first layer by 1.5. 1 remember that the first layer is 54. You multiply by 1.5. When you multiply 54 by 1.5, you should have a... 81 inches that is the second layer the length of the second layer that is the width is going to be 81 inches now for the last layer we are going to multiply 81 by 1.5 and we should have 121.5 inches for the last layer i hope i'm making sense so i'm going to show you i'm going to display each layer so that you can understand what i'm saying so these are all the layers, the three layers.
So the first one, the height of the, or the length of the first one is uh, nine inches. The second one is nine inches. The last one is uh, nine and a half because we are going to hang the last one, okay? So we need half an inch to join the first to the upper part of the dress, then join to the second layer, then second layer to the top layer. That's why we added that one, one inch seam allowance, okay? So for the width of the first layer, remember I said that the round uh, uh, half length is 36 inches, so I multiply 36 by 1.5 to get my first layer, that is the width of my first layer which is 54 inches. So, if, but you can do two inches if you wish, but 1.5 is super enough. It's not going to be, your gypsy dress is not going to be too puffy, too blue. There won't be much gathers, okay? So 1.5 works very well. Now, for the second layer, I multiply whatever I have as my first layer. I multiply by 1.5. Remember that the first layer is 52 inches, okay? I multiply by 1.5, and it gave me it one inches. Now, this first layer, I got 50, remember I got 52 inch, sorry, 54 inches, so I went for that and divide the 54 into two, so I can have two pieces, one for the front and one for the back, okay? So for the second layer, I got it one inches, okay? Then I went for that, divide into two again to get my one for the front and one for the back. Then the last layer, which uh, I multiplied it one by 1 1.5, and I got 121.5 inches, okay? Then I got... For, I, I went for that and I divide by 2 again to have my second piece, which is going to be for the back, okay? So that's all for this layer. So what I'm going to do next now is to go and gather the top part of this first layer so I can match up with the half length of the, of, uh, of the, the so I can match up with the uh, upper part of this dress. Then for the second layer, I'm going to gather the top part of the second layer so I can match up with this one. Then for the last layer, I'm going to gather the, uh, the, the top part of the last layer so that I can match up with the second layer. Okay, so I'll quickly go and do that, then join them together, do the, uh, join them together, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So, this is the finished look. You can see how beautiful the dress is. You can see that the lower part, the gathers at the lower part are not that much. They are just beautiful the way it is. You can see the black button I used to beautify the upper part of the dress. You can see. So this button you are seeing here is just for fancy. I fixed a pressing button inside. I don't know whether you can see it. This is a pressing button. Can you see? So... That is all for this dress. If you like what you're seeing, please go ahead and give me, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see my next one.